Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Summer the Official. So, in the previous videos, you had learned how to model the parts of a screw jack. Now, you will learn how to assemble those parts using product workbench. Now, open uh, Katia V5. It will open the product workbench. Now, you just go to uh, insert existing component. double click on this product so uh, you select all these parts 3 4 5 6 7 parts so ensure that all these parts are save, saved in a single folder okay so i have selected all these parts uh, click on open This will open the all the parts. So you can see uh, a part number conflict. So means all of these parts have uh, same uh, part number one. So I'll rename this using automatic rename. Automatic rename. Uh, so I'll select second part, click on automatic rename. Third part, click on automatic rename. Similarly, all those. Automatic rename click on automatic rename and click on automatic rename and click on ok so now click on this explode click on ok click s yes. so you can see all these parts are exploded and the exploded view of all these parts is c ok now select this part body part and uh, select this constraint fixed component okay this component is fixed now you just look into uh, this part okay this uh, nut part so now select the coincidence constraint click close Select this axis and select this axis. Okay. Uh, click on update all. Okay. Again, just uh, click on center mouse button and right click at a time such that you can uh, rotate this objects. So you can zoom it and pan. Okay. Now select this contact constraint. So you can click on this do not prompt in this future. Click close. Okay. Now select this. No. Uh, don't select this face. You need to select this face and select this face. Okay. Click on update all. So you can see this is updated. Okay. So you can see. Again, uh, click on fit in all. Now again, uh, click on coincidence constraint. Select the axis. And select this axis. Update all. Okay. So again, you need to have some constraint. So offset constraint, click on offset constraint, select this face and Select this face. Offset is uh, minus 260. I want plus 100. Click on OK. And update all. So you can see uh, there is an offset from this base to here. Okay. 
so now so you need uh, this cup part to be selected uh, before that again uh, click on coincidence constraint select this axis and select this axis click on update okay click on this manipulation uh, click on Z select this part and you can move this part again fit in all click OK now uh, click on contact constraint uh, zoom in click on pan click left mouse button and you can move this select this surface again select this surface okay click on update all so now select this manipulator so select this part you can move this part along z axis and you can move this part along y axis again click here move this part along z axis okay click on ok now select this contact constraint just move this select this uh, base plane not plane a uh, base surface and again select this surface click on update all select the coincidence constraint select this axis select this axis click on update all okay now click on this contact constraint select this base surface again select this surface and click on update all okay again click on this manipulator so you can select this screw and move this along x and x y or z axis okay so i will move along z axis and y axis okay click on okay select fit in all you can zoom in now select this coincidence constraint select this axis so you can zoom in and select this axis okay now uh, click on update all okay now again uh, click on contact constraint select this surface uh, move this object and again select the surface click on ok click on update all so you can see this screw is fixed here again fit in all so now you again uh, select this manipulation so move this tommy bar along x uh, y axis select this uh, manipulation click on this uh, drag around any axis or drag around uh, z axis so I'll select this so this will be my axis so this is the body so I can drag it around this click on ok ok now uh, select this coincidence constraint select this axis 
and again select this axis click on update all now click on this manipulation select this y or select this x so you can move this along this axis click on ok now select this offset constraint uh, select any of these planes and select this face in the offset can be 31 click on ok and click on update all ok so you can see here uh, isometric view and fit in all ok so you can click on constraints right click hide or so so you can hide all this constraints here ok thank you